This joke is all about funny Western. Before we start, let's crack the code on the Freemasons. I mean, who are they? The Freemasons, also known as ancient free and accepted Masons or stonemasons, were a brotherhood or boys only organization that started in the Middle Ages. These men builded cathedrals and other big buildings. Therefore, the word Mason is used in their organization name. The Brotherhood believed in helping others and each other in times of need using charities. The Freemasons began as medieval stonemason guilds who were free from servitude, hence the name. They often changed jobs and moved from one town to another. In this way, they were different from other craftsmen, who often worked in one place and had guilds in one town. The stonemasons tried to keep their skills secret, so only they knew how to do their job. They used secret methods and passwords, influencing modern masons' rituals. Masons builded cathedrals, and with that, it leads to this joke, where the priest moved in the Wild West era to another town to preach at a church. Buckle up for this one, buttercups. We're about to hit a plot twist harder than a grandma on a sugar rush at bingo night. So, this fresh-faced padre arrives in Arizona, greener than a cactus after a monsoon, the real kind of funny Western. He figures new town, new you, new nag too. Only problem. His trusty steed sounded like a bullfrog with laryngitis. This wasn't just any horse, mind you. This beast could outrun a rattler on communion wine, jump higher than a coyote chasing a 10-gallon hat, and whinny in perfect Latin. Heck, take him to a car lot today. He'd walk away with a Ferrari and leave the salesman weeping over a pile of dust and tumbleweeds the real type of Western horse. On a church day, he scanned for the perfect candidate. And then he spotted Timmy, a young fella whose singing could shatter stained glass and crack communion wafers. Young Timothy, rasped Father O'Malley. I have a deal for you, sweeter than manna and faster than Jonah fleeing the whale. He led Timmy to Benjamin whispering the instructions, like a bootlegger hiding hoosh. One amen, and he stops. One hallelujah, and he goes. But Timmy, mark my words. The more hallelujahs, the faster the horse. A few days later, Timmy, full of beans, and barely taller than a hay bale, saddled up Benjamin, walking through the fields with a grin on his face and with enthusiasm he cried out, Hallelujah! And Benjamin made up with speed, making Timmy waddled like a confused hippo. Just like in the funny Western movies, Timmy, feeling the need for more, belted out another Hallelujah. Benjamin lurched forward, then shot off like a rocket with hay fever. They tore across the field, Ben's hooves drumming a polka on the earth, Timmy clinging on like a squirrel with hiccups. And suddenly, with fears in his eyes, he saw that they were almost on a brink. Timmy thinking to himself what he needed to say to make this horse stop. And he cried out, Hallelujah! But once again, the horse went faster. So, Timmy started doing the thing that everybody does when they are about to lose their life. He prayed his heart out. And when he said amen, the horse stopped, leaving brick marks behind. When Timmy opened his eyes, they were really on the brink of the hill, about to fall the steepest dip of the hills. 
his heart ached. He looked up in the sky and said, thank you, Lord, hallelujah. So Benjamin started running again, and over the brink they went. <laughs> if you liked this video, please watch our next video by clicking here.